Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are Jane MacDonald, an education studies lecturer whose specialist subject is Tales of the City by Armistead Maupin. Poppy Mackenzie Smith, a communications consultant who will be answering questions on Blackadder. Andrew Forsyth, a civil servant, his subject is The Boxer Rebellion. And Steve Goddard, a lecturer in French whose specialist subject is Blake's Seven. <laughs> Four contenders, as always, one of whom might become the nation's mastermind. The only obstacle in the way, some tough questions in a pretty intimidating environment. The first two minutes of questions on their special subject, of course, and then two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, let us ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Jane McDonnell. Your occupation? Education studies lecturer. And your chosen subject? The Tales of the City novels by Armistead Maupin. In two minutes, starting now. In the first book in the Tales of the City series, Mary Ann Singleton moves to San Francisco and takes a room in the home of the landlady, Mrs Madrigal. The house is number 28 on what street? Barbary Lane. Yep. What's the name of the cat that features in the early books? He belonged to no one in particular, but he moved freely through a wide circle of benefactors and friends. Boris. Yes. One of the Barbary Lane tenants, Michael Tolliver, enters a dance competition at a nightclub and aims to win the $100 prize in order to pay his rent. What's the name of the nightclub? The End Up. Yep. In Baby Cakes, while on holiday in London, Michael meets Wilfred, a teenager who has befriended an urban fox. Between them, they capture it and release it into the English countryside. What name does Wilfred give the fox. Dingo. Yep. When Mona Ramsey, a housemate at 28 Barbary Lane, decides to leave San Francisco, she meets an old woman whom she later discovers is her grandmother. She's also called Mona Ramsey, but is better known by an alliterative nickname. What is it? Mother Mucker. Yep. At the start of the days of Anna Madrigal, Anna is reading a book from her childhood which features in the regular flashback sequences to when she was a child. What's the title of the book? Richard Halliburton's Book of Marvels. Yes. At the end of More Tales of the City, the wealthy widow, Franny Halcyon, is sad that her twin grandchildren have been taken abroad by their mother, Dee Dee. Which country have they gone to? Guyana. Yep. In Further Tales of the City, Michael joins the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus for a weekend of intensive rehearsals and camping around the campfire camaraderie. What's the name of the camp where they stay? Mesquite Springs. Eisenblatt. Mary Ann's amnesiac boyfriend, Burke Andrew, has a severe phobia of a particular flower. He later recalls that he'd once seen a severed arm marked with a tattoo of one. What flower? Rose. Yeah. What's the full name of the author of the book Larger Than Life, Confessions of the World's Most Beautiful Fat Woman? She first appears in Significant Others and returns in The Days of Anna Madrigal as the new wife of Mary Ann's ex-husband, Brian Hawkins. Ren Douglas. Yep. At the end of The Days of Anna Madrigal, the 92 year old Mrs. Madrigal rides into the Nevada desert on a giant vehicle in the shape of an insect. What insect? Matriarch butterfly. It's a monarch butterfly. <sighs> Close, but there we are. And anyway, Jane, you know passes and you have nine points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Poppy Mackenzie Smith. Your occupation? Communications consultant. And your chosen subject? Blackadder. Blackadder, that television comedy series. Here we go. In the first series, Prince Edmund announces that henceforth he will be known as the Blackadder. He's the younger son of King Richard IV and Duke of which city? Edinburgh. Yep. While later series were recorded in the studio, the Blackadder featured location filming at a castle in the north of England. Which castle? Annette Castle. Yep. At his trial for witchcraft, Edmund's questioned about his horse and says it likes carrots. But the witch smeller claims that they are the devil's favourite food. The horse is called as a witness and supposedly makes a signed confession. What's the name of the horse? Black Saturn. Yep. The first series was directed by Martin Shardlow and the next two by Mandy Fletcher before a new director took over for Blackadder's Christmas Carol and Blackadder goes forth. What's his name? 
John Lloyd. Richard Bowden. The closing credits of Blackadder III are laid out as a theatrical playbill from the Regency period and include a notice that the performance is to conclude with a well-known patriotic song in full chorus. What song? Royal Britannia. Yes, in Dish and Dishonesty, the death of Sir Talbot Buxomley leads to a parliamentary by-election in Dunny on the Wold, which Edmund describes as a rotten borough with a population of three rather mangy cows, a small hen in its late 40s and a dachshund named what? Colin. Yes. When the baby-eating Bishop of Bath and Wells demands repayment of the money he'd borrowed, Edmund is forced to sell his house. What's the surname of the prospective buyers who are particularly impressed with the dwelling's privies? Pants. Yes. In Major Star, Edmund says that he finds the films of a certain actor about as funny as getting an arrow through the neck and then discovering there's a gas bill tied to it. Which actor? Charlie Chaplin. Yes. In an episode in the first series, Edmund serves unwillingly as the Archbishop of Canterbury, while Percy is the Bishop of... Ramsgate. Yes. In General Hospital, Melchard sends Captain Blackadder into the field hospital to root out a German spy and promises that if he's successful, he'll be put in charge of Melchard's new security network. What's the code name of that proposed network? Operation Winkle. Yeah. In the episode Potato, when Edmund returns from his epic voyage, he gives the Queen a boomerang and Nursie a memento of her fiancé, Captain Rum. What is it? His beard. His beard, yes. No passes. Hoppy, you have ten Points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? My name is Andrew Forsyth. Your occupation? I'm a civil servant. And your chosen subject? is the Boxer Rebellion. The Boxer Rebellion. In two minutes, the Boxer Uprising against the presence of Western governments and the activities of Christian missionaries first erupted in the spring of 1900 in a province in eastern China. Which province? Shandong. Yeah. The uprising began as a protest by impoverished Chinese peasants but was at various times supported by the authorities. In the summer of 1900, the Chinese Imperial Army joined forces with the Boxer rebels and besieged the compound which housed foreign diplomatic staff in Beijing. For how many days? 55 days. Yep. In their attempts to reach the foreign diplomatic staff in Beijing, the boxers burned down a library of priceless volumes of Chinese literature housed in an imperial academy. Which one? The observatory. The Hanlin Academy. The boxer's slogan was support the Qing dynasty, exterminate the foreigners. What was the literal meaning of their war cry? Sha Sha. Kill, kill. Yes. The first Christian missionary to be murdered by the boxers was killed in Shantung province in the last week of 1899 as he travelled to his home in Pingyin. What was his name? Sidney Brooks. Yes. Many Westerners were trapped by boxer forces in a city some 70 miles south of Beijing until it was relieved in mid-July 1900 by a combined Allied force that included European, American and Japanese troops. Which city? Jiantian. Yes. A Royal Navy Vice Admiral was appointed to lead the failed relief expedition that set out from Tianjin to try and relieve Beijing in June 1900. What was his name? Admiral Seymour. Yes. What was the English name of Hongdong Zhao, the female auxiliary wing of the boxer movement whose members were teenage girls? The name was a reference to the lights that they carried. The Red Lanterns. Yeah. Who was appointed in June 1900 to replace the moderate and pro-Western Prince Qing as president of the Shengli Yamen, effectively the Chinese foreign ministry? Prince Tuan. Yes. The Allied assault on the Imperial Army forts at Taku at the mouth of the Peihou River in June 1900 involved three British warships. The destroyers Fame and Whiting were two. What was the name of the third ship in an armoured sloop? Endeavour. Algerine. Which future American president, who was then stationed in China as a mining engineer, described the streets of Tianjin during the siege as being simply canals of moving lead? Herbert Hoover. Is correct. No passes, Andrew. You have nine points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Steve Goddard. Your occupation? Lecturer in French. And your chosen subject? Lakes 7. Ah, that 
cult BBC science fiction series which ran for four years, from 1978. Here we go. What was the name of the television scriptwriter who created Blake 7 and wrote every episode of the first series? Terry Nation. Yep. In the first episode, Rog Blake is sentenced to transportation to the penal colony on the planet Cygnus Alpha. He travels on a prison ship and later organises an unsuccessful attempt to hijack it. What's its name? London. Yep. Tarrant and Dana teleport down to a planet dominated by an enormous volcano and try to persuade its inhabitants that it would make an ideal base for them because of its strategic position. Vila is reluctant to visit the planet and says even the name sounds nasty. What's it called? Obsidian. Yep. What's the standard unit of measurement used on board the spaceship Liberator? According to its onboard computer, Zen, a standard planetary orbit usually consists of 1,000 of them. Spatials. Yep. What's the name of the Federation Supreme Commander who is, according to Krantor, as per Perfidious and devious as a snake. Serverland. Yep. In the episode Terminal, Callie and Dana play a board game to keep out of Avon's way. Callie wins the game, even though Villa has urged Dana to make a certain move, telling her that he plays the game to what high standards? Grandmaster. Galactic Master. Which actor who went on to play the Doctor in Doctor Who appears as Baban the Butcher? According to Villa, the character is top of the Federation's most wanted list and has a reputation for straightforward mayhem that's second to none. Colin Baker. Yep. Atlan leads the speed-obsessed outlaws based on Caspar, an Earth-type planet in Sector 5. What are they called? Space Rats. Yep. What's the title of the Series 1 episode in which the Resistance fighter Callie first appears? When she encounters Blake, she knocks him down a slope, points a gun at him, and telepathically delivers her first words, Who are you? Voice from the past. Time Squad. When the Federation technician Koza fakes his own death and flees with a dangerous weapon called Imipak, Servalan employs a psycho strategist called Carnell to predict his movements and find him. What is the nickname given to Carnell's profession? Psycho Masters. No, Puppeteer. Sulin grew up on a planet, I've started so I'll finish, known to the local population as GP. It was a peaceful agricultural world until the Federation discovered it had valuable mineral resources and suspended its penal code, which led to her parents' murder. What's the name of the planet? Gouda Prime. Is correct. Which means that, Steve, you have no passes and eight points. <laughs> Well, a really close round that and high scoring too. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fourth place, with eight points, Steve. Joint second place, nine points apiece, Jane and Andrew. First place with ten points, Poppy. So, now it is the general knowledge round and if there's a tie at the end of it, which is entirely feasible, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So, let's ask Steve to join us again, please. And Steve, you start out with eight points. Everything to play for in this game. Here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. A type of ice cream dessert which contains layers of fruit and cream and is traditionally served in a tall glass is called a Knickerbocker... Glory. Yep. JW.org is the internet domain name for the official website of a religious organisation. Which one? Jehovah's Witness. Yep. Yeah. In 2014, who joined Tess Daly as a permanent co-host of Strictly Come Dancing? Claudia Winkleman. Yep. Yeah. In the trilogy of novels, House of Cards, to play the king and the last cut, the main character is the scheming politician Francis Urquhart. The author is himself a former political figure. What's his name? John Major. Michael Dobbs. The bass guitarist Michael Balzari, known as Flea, is a founding member of an American rock group whose UK hit singles include Under the Bridge and Californication. Which group? Def Leppard. Red Hot Chili Peppers. In 1964, Jomo Kenyatta became the first president of which East African country? Kenya. Yep. The Scottish actress Kelly MacDonald provides the voice of a red-haired Highland princess called Merida in a 2012 animated film. What's its title? Brave. Yep. What common name for a genus of perennial plants, sometimes known as rock foil, is derived from the Latin for stonebreaker because the plants thrive in a rocky environment? Saxifrage. Yes. In February 2020, the Swedish-American athlete Armand Duplantis twice set a world record in an athletics discipline, first with a height of 6 metres and 17 centimetres, then 6 metres and 18 centimetres. Which discipline? Pole vault. Yep. The George Washington Bridge, opened in 1931, spans the Hudson River from the state of New Jersey on one side to one of the boroughs of New York City on the other. Which borough? Manhattan. 
Yes, a hard scaly deposit that forms on teeth when plaque is allowed to harden is sometimes called dental calculus. What's its more common name? Calcium. Tata. The InSight mission, which was launched by NASA in May 2018 and landed almost seven months later, aimed to explore beneath the surface of a neighbouring planet in our solar system. Which planet? Mars. Yeah. The white wine known as Hock originated in which European country? Germany. Yeah. In ancient Rome, what name was given to a religious official from Etruria who interpreted omens by inspecting the entrails of sacrificial animals? Harrisbex. Yes. The actress Cathy Shipton left the television serial Casualty in February 2020, more than 33 years after her debut in the show's first episode. Her character is usually known by what nickname? Griselda. Duffy. In 1988, a junior health minister was forced to resign from Margaret Thatcher's government after her comments about salmonella in eggs caused a slump in their sales. What's her name? Edwina Curry. It is indeed. No passes, Steve. You have 20 points. <laughs> And next up, we have Jane. And, Jane, you have nine points. You will have just observed that. 20 points is the score to beat. So, let's see if you can do it. Here we go. What plural word for straps worn over the shoulders to hold up a pair of trousers is also used to mean a wire device that's fitted to teeth to straighten them? Braces. Yep, a drink described as alcoholic is usually understood to be one that contains a particular organic compound of the alcohol family. What's the chemical name of that compound? Ethylene. Ethanol. The term dunk or slam dunk is sometimes used to mean something that can be achieved easily. It originated as a name for a forceful shot in which team sport? Basketball. Yep. Which day of the week is known in French as Vendredi? Friday. Yep. At the Brit Awards in 2020, the female solo artist category was won by the singer Mabel, whose mother won two Brit Awards 30 years earlier after the release of her debut album Raw Like Sushi. What's the mother's name? Pass. Santiago de Compostela is the capital of an autonomous region of northwestern Spain, bordered by Portugal to the south and the Atlantic Ocean to the north and west. Which region? Galicia. Yes. In the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy is transported back to Kansas as she clicked her heels and repeats a particular phrase over again. What phrase? There's no place like home. Yes. Which Latin American country is the main setting of D.H. Lawrence's The Plume Serpent, Graham Greene's The Power and the Glory and Malcolm Lowry's Under the Volcano? Brazil. Mexico. Which comedian began hosting the television series The Mash Report in 2017? He also became one of the hosts of the News Quiz on Radio 4 in January 2020. Nish Kumar? Yep. Yeah. In the 15th century, three English kings of the House of Lancaster ruled under the same regnal name. What name? Plantagenet. Henry. The unit of measurement for the concentration of ozone in the atmosphere is sometimes abbreviated to the letters DU and is named after a British scientist who studied the ozone layer. What unit? Pass. In 1952, a member of the British royal family received the titles Duke of Cornwall, Duke of Rothesay, Earl of Carrick and Baron Renfrew. What's his first name? Philip. Charles. An order of mammals that's made up of many animals with a mainly meat-based diet has a name that derives from the Latin for flesh-eating. What name? Carnivorous? Yep. Canon in D, commonly played at weddings, is the best-known work of a German composer who died in 1706. Which composer? Packerbell. Yep. Lupita Nyong'o won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in a 2013 film directed by Steve McQueen. What film? Twelve Years a Slave. Yes. The leaves of the plant Laurus nobilis, part of the laurel family, are used in cookery and are normally added to a dish. Oh, what's the usual name for these Thanks. leaves? Yes. In 2017, an English city in the West Midlands was named as the 2021 UK City of Culture and planning began for events to be held at venues such as the Herbert Art Gallery and Museum, the Belgrade Theatre and the Cathedral. Which city? Coventry. Is correct. Two passes, the uh, unit of measurement for ozone in the atmosphere, the Dobson unit, and uh, the name of uh, Mabel's mother is Nina Cherry. You now have 20 points. And now Andrew again, please. And, Andrew, you start out with nine points, and the score to beat is still 20. Here we go. One of the home nations of the UK is known in its own language as Cymru. Which one? Wales. Yep. At the 2009 Athletics World Championships in Berlin, a Jamaican sprinter set a new world record of 9.58 seconds for the men's 100 metres. Who was he? 
Usain Bolt? Yep. Which Middle Eastern city was sacked by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II in 586 BC? Many of its inhabitants were subsequently held in captivity in Babylon. Baghdad. Jerusalem. In April 2020, a Second World War veteran, widely known in the media as Captain Tom, became the oldest person to have a UK number one single when he duetted with Michael Ball on You'll Never Walk Alone. What's his surname? Moore. Yeah. Clydesdale and Suffolk Punch are breeds of what domesticated animal? Pig. Horse. A British actress known for her television comedy roles in shows such as Harry Enfield and Chums and Gimme 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 won the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her performance in the 1997 drama Nil by Mouth. Which actress? Kathy Burke. Yep. The 49th parallel forms part of the border between the United States and which other country? Canada. Yep. Deficiency of vitamin B1 in the human body can cause a disease with a name derived from a Sinhalese word for weakness. What disease? Ricketts? Very, very. A 1936 children's novel by Noel Stratfield tells the story of the adopted sisters Pauline, Petrova and Posey Fossil, who attend a dance and drama academy. What's the title of the book? Pippa Longstocking. Ballet shoes. In the television series MASH, Captain Benjamin Franklin Pierce is better known by what nickname? Hawkeye. Yep. The American Ivy League University established in Cambridge, Massachusetts in the 1630s is named after the minister who left his library and half his estate to the institution. Which university? Harvard. Yep. What's the surname of the artist brothers Jake and Dinos who were nominated for the 2003 Turner Prize? Birosh. Chapman. A so-called cage of conducting material into which an object may be placed to shield it from external electric fields is named after the British scientist who first constructed one in 1836. Who was he? Faraday. Yes. At the 2019 UK general election, which party won 365 seats? The Conservatives. Yes. The Alfonso, named after a Portuguese admiral who colonised parts of India, is a variety of fruit native to that region. What fruit? Lychee. Mango. In the New Testament, the Acts of the Apostles describes the missionary journeys of an early Christian evangelist born in Tarsus. What's his name? Thomas. Saint Paul. No passes, 18 points. And finally, Poppy again, please. And, Poppy, you start out with ten points, and you know what the score to beat is. I hardly need to tell you if you are to get through to the semi-finals. Here we go. A septet is a group of how many musicians? Seven. Yep. The Netflix television drama series Glow is based on a real-life circuit of professional sportswomen in the 1980s. The show's title is an acronym of Gorgeous Ladies of What? Wheels. Wrestling. Lemurs are primates that are native to the Comoros in the Indian Ocean and more famously to another island country nearby. Which one? Madagascar. Yep. The British athlete Christine Ohorogu won a gold medal at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing and a silver at the 2012 Games in London. Over what distance? 800 metres. 400 metres. A freshwater lake in Siberia near the Russian-Mongolian border covers more than 12,000 square miles and was added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1996. What's the name of the lake? Baikal. Yep. Yeah. According to the title of a 1934 novel by James N. Kane, the postman always rings... Twice. Yep. Yeah. Nystagmus is a medical condition which causes involuntary movements of which parts of the body? Eyelid? No, it's the eyeballs. In the 2015 film A Legend, one actor plays the dual roles of the twins Reggie and Ronnie Cray. Which actor? Tom Hardy. Yes. What name was given to the idealised code of conduct that medieval knights were expected to follow? Its values included bravery, dignity and a protective attitude towards women. Chivalry. Yep. A British soul band formed in the early 1980s by Lee John, Ashley Ingram and Errol Kennedy had UK hit singles with Body Talk, Just an Illusion and Music and Lights. Which band? Yellow. Imagination. In Islamic belief, the Prophet Muhammad began his mission after he was visited on a hill near Mecca by an angel. Which one? Michelangelo. Jibril. What classic video game was designed by the Russian computer engineer Alexei Pachitnov in 1984 while he was working for the Soviet Academy of Sciences? Pong. Tetris. In 1911, the Swiss psychiatrist Eugen Bleuler coined a term from Greek words for split and mind for a mental disorder that's often characterised by delusions, hallucinations and muddled thought. What term? Schizophrenia. Yep. Yeah. Which chart-topping singer from Barbados launched the cosmetics brand Fenty Beauty in 2017? 
Rihanna. Yep. A display of information or instructions projected onto a pilot's viewing window in some military aircraft is created by a technology often abbreviated to the letters AR. In this context, what the letters AR stand for? Uh... Aviation reality. Augmented reality. A 1533 painting by Hans Holbein the Younger in the collection of the National Gallery in London depicts two French diplomats, Jean de Dinteville and the Bishop of Lavore. What's the usual title of the painting? The Ambassadors. Is correct. No passes, Poppy. You have scored 19 points. <laughs> Well, it really does not get much closer than that. Let's give you the scores. In fourth place with 18 points, Andrew. Third place with 19 points, Poppy. Second place with 20 points and two passes, Jane. First place with 20 points and no passes, Steve. So, Steve goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time. For more masterminds, thank you for watching. Goodbye. My specialist subject, Blake Seven, it's it's a bit niche, it's a bit of a cult, but it's such a fond memory from my childhood. Vila is reluctant to visit the planet and says even the name sounds nasty. What's it called? Obsidian. Yep. I thought it would be fun to revisit it, re-watch the series, and remember what it was that I'd liked about it. Well, I can't believe I'm a winner. It's really quite a shock. Um, I honestly didn't know that I'd won right at the very end until John announced the result. It was such a close-run thing. Uh, really good fun. And the other contenders, I thought they were absolutely brilliant. It was such a close-run thing. And I had no idea about this before today. There was a link between me and Poppy, who was so close behind, because not so long ago, I was teaching her French at university. And it was quite a surprise when we saw each other earlier on today and uh, realised that uh, we were in the same programme. I take part regularly in the annual Women's Institute quiz in the uh, village where I live, and uh, I think they'll be quite excited to have a round winner from Mastermind when hopefully we meet up uh, next year and, uh, and, and have our quiz. Puts a bit of pressure on, though. Anyone thinking of applying for the show, go for it. It's, it's such a buzz. Uh, really enjoyable. A little bit scary, but it's so worth doing. I'd say go for it.